welcome back to GolfChallengeTV.com. Today I'm going to talk a little bit uh, behind the history of how I came into the project and also going to talk about why I haven't posted as much lately. Um, so let's take it back a little bit. A couple months ago is when I decided to start this project, actually the beginning of July. And it all came about because it's been about four to five years since I've consistently played golf. Uh, within the last four or five years, I might have played maybe 10 times or so, but I never practiced anymore. I would just go out to the, to the golf course and just play. So what I decided to do was I really missed athletics. I missed uh, playing baseball. I missed playing a sport. I missed the discipline. And because I love, uh, I love golf so much, I decided to take it on as my sport. And that's how the idea to document my journey of becoming a professional golfer came about. So it started uh, the first week of July, and I went out to the golf range, started hitting some balls, got a little frustrated because I didn't, you know, I didn't pick up the game where I left off before. I used to shoot in the low 80s, and that's as low as I've ever gotten. I never broke 80 before. But, you know, the expectations were that I would pick up the game rather quickly, and that was not the case. So off to the side of the golf range, I saw a very sweet older lady and I approached her. She was doing some exercise routines on her golf swing. So I approached her and, and I asked her where she was taking lessons. And she gave me a business card that had the name of Golf Tech on it. And Golf Tech is a company that specializes in uh, golf training, whether it's your full swing or chipping, putting, uh, pitching, etc. They use uh, very high-end technology very high-speed cameras that slow your swing down and, and uh, they draw plane lines for you to get your swing on plane. So I went to meet with them here in Santa Monica, California. And I met with one of the uh, golf pros there. Uh, hit it off, really enjoyed you know, all the facilities and what they had to offer for me. So I went ahead and bought a year's worth of golf lessons. Unfortunately, I made a mistake. I actually, the first two weeks of uh, the, of the weekly lessons, I never really warmed up when I got to my lessons. And the other thing that you need to know is I haven't really exercised consistently in the last uh, three, four years either. Uh, let me take that back, two or three years. And growing up, I was, I was always doing athletics, always in the gym working out and keeping in shape. So the last two or three years, I have not. Um, so the mistake I made was going into these golf uh, into these golf lessons, and I started, you know, just as if I was as flexible as can be, and just started swinging the club. Well, I, during the second week, I overextended muscles in my left shoulder. Uh, I was afraid that they were torn because I I had limited movement in my shoulder. I couldn't put on my shirt. I couldn't drive, you know, for a long time with my left hand. And so I ended up going to see a doctor. Uh, the doctor scheduled an MRI for me, and thank God nothing was torn. That was the concern. But uh, I just you know, hyperextended it and I pulled the muscle. So got some medication to take down the inflammation, and uh, I'm also icing the shoulder and putting some cream on it that the doctor prescribed. And that's kind of where my, this journey uh, kind of came to a halt because I had to take care of the shoulder, make sure there was nothing permanently done to it. So that's why I haven't posted much lately, but we're going to get back on track and I'm actually going to leave the full golf swing behind. I'm going to go back to taking lessons, but we're just going to focus on the short game, which by the way should be the way you approach, um, you know, uh, getting those scores in golf and, and becoming a professional is you really need to approach it from putting green back to the tee. Many pros say that, many books recommend that, and you know, maybe this is why this happened for a reason, uh, for me to injure my shoulder because I needed to really focus on the, on the short game. And that's where championships are won, tournaments are won. Uh, just watch any, any close, uh, you know, major out there. And a lot of times they're won on the last putt, you know, they're won on the putting green. So we're going to focus on the short game. I'm going to give my shoulder, it's feeling better now. I'm going to give it another 30 days, 60 days for it to heal and see how it feels then. Uh, and then I'm going to start doing some, some exercises uh, and start strengthening my body again before I get back to the full golf swing. So I learned from my mistake. Uh, there's a reason for it. 
and I'm just going to focus on the short game for now. I'm going to focus on the putting, the chipping, the, and the uh, pitching. So um, I will also post some of the videos that I took uh, through Golf Tech in the, the first couple weeks that I was with them. So you guys can see where my golf swing was and then where we got it in those couple weeks. Uh, we did a lot of really great improvements, so it was great. Okay, so with that being said, I did take some before images of my body, my upper body, my back as well, to establish the baseline uh, before I start a 30-day exercise routine. Now, I'm also going to delay that exercise routine, those 30 day, that 30-day challenge, because of this left shoulder. That exercise routine also includes some strength, strength, uh, strength training with some you know, minimal weights, but I want to make sure that this is healed first before I continue to, to, uh, to move forward on the exercise routine. So, but with that being said, I did take the before images. You're about to see them right now. Shoot me comments, ask me questions, and I'll definitely get back to you. For now, here are the before images. Okay, so in this space, we're going to shoot the before images right before we begin our exercise program. I wanted to make sure we documented uh, and created a baseline so we can monitor the progress in the next 30 days and see you know, where we get in the before and the after. So I'm going to put up a great background right here and we're just going to shoot some uh, before images, maybe 15 to 20 images of the upper body, lower body and the back uh, to make sure we create a baseline and uh, have something to measure from. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using these as the, uh, the base for the background. Okay, we finished setting up the background, we have the lights ready to go, and now we're just going to shoot some uh, before images. <laughs> 